Namaste angels. I'm here to get back on track and to bring you the weekly reading, which I haven't done in about two weeks. Instead, I had replaced them with uh, like extended dailies in order to fill in while I was on vacation and want to get back on track here. So this will be for um, Sunday, September 11th through Saturday, September 17th, focusing on the energy of September 11th through September 17th, with those dates being 8-11 in reverse, um, which again, of course, if you've been watching me, you know is representative for me of St. Germain and Lady Portia, justice, strength, abundance. So perhaps that's what we'll see here. I've been shuffling, plan to use mother's cards, the Oris, the and I'm, now I'm just merging their names and making them, you know, some new uh, hip pop culture couple that's going to happen. Oris. <laughs> the Isis Oracle um, is what I, is from what I plan to get the advice and shuffled a few times, landing on healing the divine masculine Osiris rises every time. And I'm very excited. I had just posted on Facebook um, yesterday that I felt my Lord, lowercase l, was rising. So not him, the earthbound one, not the, not the heavenly one. Um, from my angel tarot, and I feel like I haven't used this in so long, uh, Zoreen Virtue Angel Tarot, Awakening, Major Arcana card, number 12, Archangel Gabriel. This is the Hanged Man, where we're told to look at things from a different perspective. It's a temporary standstill. Something could be hanging in the balance. It's important to be yourself. I also saw many times the King of Swords, the Queen of Water, the Three of Water, and maybe that was it. And I think one or more of those might be behind this because I see the light blue. Let's see. Yep, here's the three of water. A celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. The need to have more fun. And here's the queen of water. Tenderhearted. Empathetic, patient, loving, relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. The Queen of Water is extremely intuitive. And here's Archangel Metatron, the dreamer. A leap of faith. Follow your dreams. Unexpected opportunities coming your way. Okay, so... And lastly, from my Ascended Masters deck, also by Doreen Virtue, I have repeatedly come to open your heart to love Jesus. And I feel that this message not only means open your heart to love, lowercase l, but that it means open your heart to love, as in him, capital L, and perhaps can be coupled with that hangman card that we saw where you have to look at things from a different perspective. Maybe you were raised with no religion at all. Maybe you were raised atheist. Maybe you were raised in a different religion um, other than those that are associated with Jesus Christ. Um, Christianity, mainly. Maybe you were raised in Islam, you're a Muslim. Maybe you were raised uh, in the Jewish faith or, you know, some other faith that's less common where I come from. I mean, like, those are, like, pretty much the three major ones here in um, New York. But, of course, anything goes in New York. There are plenty of religions. Um, however, again, if you've been listening to me, you know that from what I understand, from what I've been shown, from what I've been told, God doesn't want any more religion. No more. Not one. Just a... I'll call it a unified um, vibration of love. Just spirituality. Just spirituality and love. Open your heart to love. That's all he wants. But I'm, I'm thinking maybe, again, 
um, with September 11th falling into this period um, for which I'm reading that he's saying even if you were raised where he this being in this vibration as Jesus of Nazareth the Christ uh, you were raised where that being was not influential in any way in your life look at things from a different perspective now and recognize him as an ascended master recognize him as a heavenly being a cosmic being on the same vibration as perhaps some someone uh, a being in which you do believe there is only one god there are many vibrations of that being because that being is a seraph and seraphim can be whatever they want whenever they want the heavenly ones at least the end the angels okay let me start the reading i was feeling that in advance of it and coming first to clear your clear and shield your energy with el moria I don't think he's ever missed a reading. I think every time I do a reading, El Moria comes through with clear and shield your energy. Krishna says, find the blessing in your current situation. I saw that part a couple of times as I was shuffling as well. And he's back. And thought says to write. But Krishna's back. I'm going to cut. Now at the bottom of the deck, before I ask Archangel Michael for the cards, mother, wife, sister, daughter, Lady Nada. At the bottom now, detach from drama, Pallas Athena. And coming so far a few times to the nine of fire in this deck, don't give up, protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. This is, again, if you've been watching me, the, or my, uh, to me it is the I am who am card. This is where you really step forward in defense of yourself. You've been through it already. Um, you've persevered. This is a card of perseverance and standing firm holding your ground, not letting anybody walk over you, not letting anybody disrespect you, not attacking anyone else either, but you're ready. You're at the ready if anybody attacks you.
at the bottom of the deck now is the Ten of Earth. A very happy family life. Financial security. Finding magic in the little things in life. This is the overall energy. Um, material, earthbound fulfillment. All that we need is there for us this week. And going right into this, the masculine is being told to choose peace. So first we saw Pallas Athena saying detach from drama. Not only detach from not only should you detach from drama, but go a step further and choose peace. Archangel Michael seconds that emotion. He's here to help you with it, to think things through logically. Don't go off half cocked. Don't just you know, imagine something that may not really be there and act upon it, you know, be organized, think logically. You are the emperor. Structure and discipline. Leadership. Okay, you're not a follower here, so you're not just running off loose. And you know you don't want to fight every war. You don't want to fight every battle. You want to detach from as many as you can. Surrounding. Spend time in meditation. Well, you're going to be by yourself, um, it seems, some of the time anyway. Uh, enjoying life's little luxuries. Spending quiet time alone. Successful self-employment. The nine of earth is someone who is at peace with themselves. So choose peace, not just with others, yourself too. And you've chosen it and you've got it here with the nine of earth. This is somebody who is happy with themselves, at peace with themselves, does not mind being their own friend not one little bit, and is going to have a good time doing it. One of the things you may want to do while you're alone is meditate. That's Buddha's recommendation. And Archangel Michael, or a vibration of that being, is back with Apollo. Focus upon your strengths and more earth energy. Virgo is very prevalent this week. Ah, uh, the four of earth. I can go either way with this one. I'm not, I can't really say I'm a fan, but it's not always so bad. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money. Good business decisions. Giving to those less fortunate. So I'm going to say because you are the nine of earth, who is well to do, who is, you know, doing, and because we are all the ten of earth, that's the general energy of this spread that the meaning today of this card is that you are giving to those less fortunate. Whatever that means in your life for you, uh, volunteering, you're focusing upon your strengths and sharing them with others. Feminine, thought is back. He says to write. We are the queen of fire. This is the quintessential um, divine feminine card from this deck, in my opinion. She's confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Angels fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Okay? Part of your creativity could be writing. Whether it's for somebody else or just yourself. If you... When you hear messages, you receive them, you have a download, it's easy to forget these things later, you know, because that's what the dark wants us to do. So they put in these blocks, okay? You could lose information. If you have the opportunity, please write. And if you are so inclined and able, write and share with others because your creativity this week is heightened. You are the queen of fire. And I think that may also be Leo returning once again to this Virgo energy. And you see, I had had a thought about that. I didn't write it down. I had a thought about that last week about why Leo kept seeming to come back. Elmoria too is coming back with clear and shield your energy feminine. You're the magician. So you've got a lot of it and you've got it in all areas. You've got it in all elements, water, fire, earth, air, Shield it, protect it. You are ready. You have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Life is magical, but don't let anybody take you, take it from you. Okay. 
Okay, remember you're also the nine of fire, that energy that showed up before the reading started. And you've got to protect you, your being. I am who am. I am the magician. In your subconscious, Krishna is back. Find the blessings in your current situation. So don't be bickering about, I don't have this, I, you know, I lack that. Get out of that because that's you blocking your own blessing. Okay, and manifesting lack. We have all we need. We are the wealthiest beings on the planet. We, the 144,000 members of Abraham's family, descendants of Abraham, of the 12 tribes. And your subconscious, you're the king of fire. Okay, so you're the king and the queen here. Motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. The feminine this week is on fire as far as what she can do. So if you're, whatever you're into, whatever your method or mechanism of creativity is, get to it. And that's where all these coins are coming from, clearly. All of this. And when I pick up the Ten of Earth as the, our overall energy, the Ten of Earth, what's underneath it but the Queen of Earth. So, yeah. Definitely got it going on in material, um, the area of material things this week, September 11th through the 17th. Crowning. Priorities. Okay, so we've got it going on, but don't, you know, get too crazy. Again, don't go up half-cocked. Right next to King Solomon here, remember under this Choose Peace card, we have the Emperor, we have Archangel Michael also telling us to be mindful of our priorities, to organize, to be logical about our movements, okay? Underneath that is the Knight of Earth, loyal, dedicated, honorable, kind, time to buckle down and get things done, honor your commitments, a guardian angel. Well, this makes sense because no one is going to act on their priorities and get their priorities in order and maintain them in order like the night of earth. The night of earth or pentacles is one that many believe in the area of tarot is the only night that always accomplishes his goals. Okay, that's a belief of many in this area of study, tarot. He's slower, though. It's like uh, he's the easy does it kind of person. You know, so he's going to get there, but he's going to take his time. He's going to be methodical about it. He's going to be organized. He has his priorities in order and in mind. He's focusing on his intention. But we still need this, too. So maybe that's why this fire energy is coming through us, coming through for us as well. To say, okay, yeah, I know you're going to make it. I know you're going to commit your goal. I know you're going to take your time. Let's make sure that we, you know, keep a pace though. Okay? A good pace. Lou is here with persistence. Because this is what we're working toward. Okay? Even though this is the general reading and has been a lot about material things and, you know, perhaps finances, money. It's all to this end at the end of the day. The two of water, a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, and the positive resolution of a conflict. Maybe the conflict was how are we going to manage, you know, moving in together, paying, you know, bills, whatever the case may be, and you have figured that out now. Okay, that's your, we've got all this earth, we've got all this money surrounding us. All these financial blessings surrounding us. So that's how. Everything is to this end. It requires persistence. And at the heart of the matter here, artistic expression, more creativity. So we are going to be basically selling our wares, so to speak. Whatever it is we do, we're going to be doing it and doing it well all week because here's more earth energy. Here's more pentacles, the two of earth. Now, the two of earth, the two of pentacles can mean juggling, doing too much. It can also mean like a feeling of kind of a deja vu, like I'm doing the same things over and over. Maybe that's not a bad thing this week, though, if the same thing over and over is resulting in this. 
and this and this And this and this okay all these coins I think it's a good thing this week go ahead and express yourself sell your paintings sell your poems sell your songs use your talents and let's see what our parents have to add to this I'm seeing proper burial for freedom, sacrifice to Osiris. And I don't know if that has to do with, as I said that, something fell. I don't know if that has to do with September 11th and the sacrifices that have already been made. I'm kind of feeling that. That it's the sacrifices that have already been made. Uh, lives that have already been lost on our behalf. that father is saying now to make sure we recognize that never forget that remember what's been done for us and in the future yeah choose peace look at things from a different perspective okay your religion your um ideologies are you know no better than anyone else's We can all live, you know, harmoniously with under whatever beliefs we have if we're open to love and, you know, love, again, lowercase l and capital L. And I keep seeing mother now the key of life. I'm going to cut. In the past where I've seen um, that card, I'm going to be honest, and I've been honest on other videos of mine, when I see and actually coupled with Choose Peace and or the White Buffalo um, card from the Ascended Masters deck, when I've seen that proper burial for freedom card, um, again, also coupled with those cards, it has me meant... Um, death of someone impactful on the world someone famous famed um so i saw those cards in the days leading up to prince's death i also saw those cards in the days leading up to ali's death um i did not use those cards but got an email from another angelic um that they had pulled them and I said, oh, I'm glad I, I wasn't the one to have pulled them because when I pull them, somebody dies, you know, and sure enough, Dr. Sebi had died. So it didn't matter that I didn't pull them. And I guess that's why the universe had guided her to let me know that they had been pulled nonetheless um, and that somebody was going. But I don't feel that right now. I, again, I really feel that this has to do with September 11th and... And September 11th, not necessarily the event itself, although that too, yes, but September 11th as a symbolic image of, you know, just war period and um, war over religion, war in the name of God that he doesn't want. Okay, so I think that that's what he's saying here. I'm going to ask him for... Um, a card each he and mother i'm going to ask them for a card for each archetype for some advice here The overall energy is the Temple of Black Obsidian, the dark healing chamber. I actually slept 
atop a piece of raw black obsidian and a piece of carnelian. They were both under my pillow last night. Masculine, your advice is the queen of heaven. Blessings from the divine empress of the skies. And feminine, your advice is initiation, spiritual testing of Ra and the lady Isis. I came to those cards as I was shuffling alone too. All right, let me try to quickly find them. I'm not doing a good, very good job of it so far. Queen of heaven, masculine. Blessings from the divine empress of the skies. The queen of heaven, the divine empress of the skies, acknowledges your feminine authority now as a man or a woman. You have a life path of spiritual leadership to bring, okay, you're the emperor also, remember, to bring qualities of mercy, compassion, and wisdom into the world. The oracle of the queen of heaven is a confirmation of your feminine leadership and spiritual authority, whether in male or female body in this lifetime. Isis means throne. Okay, that's what her name means. It doesn't mean terrorist organization. It doesn't mean Islamic state. It means throne. And I don't mean to get upset, but it really pisses me off because I know how much it pisses her off and also King Osiris. And it's very disrespectful. I find it like blasphemy. Okay, in any case, Isis means throne and her presence is a blessing. As divine empress of the sky, she offers initiates of light, men and women, great feminine spiritual power. Feminine spiritual authority occurs when power is tempered with mercy, wisdom, compassion, and love. It is inspired spiritual leadership through the heart and a model of power and authority that is based in empowerment rather than force or control. And maybe we're getting this message because this week it will also be the full moon and the lunar eclipse on Friday the 16th. Maybe we're getting, that's why we're getting this moon energy from uh, Queen Isis, the queen of heaven, the goddess of the skies. Because what is moon energy? Again, if you've been watching me, it is feminine energy of surrender. And I heard in my head and had thought to go over, but then I said, maybe I'll save it for the love reading. Tender love by the force MDs. Tender love, love so tender. Holding me close to you, baby, I surrender. And that is the five men singing about how they're going to surrender. I'm reminded of it right now. What the queen offers us is inspired spiritual leadership through the heart and a model of power and authority that is based in empowerment rather than force or control. The queen of heaven calls you to ascend to the throne of feminine leadership within your own being that you may fulfill your life's mission and serve the divine feminine on this planet from a place of inner spiritual authority. That's what they want, not religion. Awesome, so beautiful. Thank you, mother. And for the feminine, initiation, spiritual testing of Ra and the Lady Isis. When you are being spiritually initiated into the mysteries of light, love, and power, there are moments of deep challenge. The key is to find the light within the challenge, the learning, growth, or wisdom that can be summoned to turn that challenge into an opportunity for healing. Whilst the scorching heat of Ra seeks to burn through any resistance, the Lady Isis, with compassion and cleverness, will protect you from burning and instead enable you to be nourished and to grow from the light of Ra. Let Isis help you pass the test of intense growth as you thrive with new life. For advanced aspirants on path, initiation will occur at various stages. Remember GS9, I go so hard. I heard that song last night too. Sometimes your entire life will feel like an initiation. How true is that, okay? At other times, specific areas will be flowing easily whilst others are deeply challenging. This oracle comes as confirmation that you are not needlessly suffering. If you can find the light within the struggles, tests, or challenges that face you now, you will experience breakthrough healing. 
how awesome was all of that i hope that you guys oh did i do this i wanted to get overall general energy from the dice for this week let me do that and then i will bid you good day ah the general energy from the dice are cocktail and from spirit okay cocktail yes and massage i hope that you guys enjoyed the week's reading i'll be back with specials for the that fall into this week i feel i may have to do an extended daily for the 11th the, the 11th although i normally don't read for the weekends um the 13th which the 13th will be 13 um, because 9 and 13 always come back to 13. But that is the day on which Tupac Shakur died. I'm feeling I'm supposed to say something about that. Um, perhaps other very important events on that day. And I'm often surprised by some of the things we learn um, that happened on particular days in history. And then again, of course, as I have already mentioned, the 16th is the lunar eclipse and the full moon. So I will definitely be back with something for that. Namaste, angels.